Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about systems of equations, word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. A plane traveled 580 miles to Ankara and back. The trip there was with the wind. It took five hours. The trip back was into the wind. The trip back took 10 hours. Find the speed of the plane in still air and the speed of the wind. Okay. Well, one thing we should know about distance, rate, and time is, and we have plenty of videos on that if you need help with those types of problems, but is distance equals rate times time. So let's use that in context of this problem. They said the tr plane traveled 580 miles, this is a trip there, and then 580 miles back. And on the way there, it was with the winds, but so the sp uh, speed of the plane in still air is represented as p, and it had the wind at its back, so it's with the wind plus the speed of the wind being w. Took a f uh, so that's the rate. Took a time of five hours. Now the same distance, 580. On the way back, the plane's going against the wind, so we have p and minus w, but that took 10 hours. All right. So now what we want to do is, well, we want to solve for our variables. We have our system of equations. The first thing I'm going to do is actually, let's get this a little easier. I'm going to divide both sides by 5 here, and this side, both sides by 10. So 580 divided by 5 is 116 equals, well, p plus w, and 580 divided by 10 is 58 equals p minus w. And so that's a little easier to work with for to get our values. So I'm going to put them over each other. 58 equals p minus w. And I'm going to solve this actually by elimination. I'm going to add these two equations. And in doing so, the variable w is going to cancel. w minus plus and, or plus and minus w is just 0. So 116 plus 58 is 174. And don't forget, p plus p is 2p. And again, the w's cancel. Divide both sides by 2 here, and p is by itself, and 174 divided by 2 is an 87. Flipped it around there. So the plane is traveling 87 miles per hour. So again, 174 divided by 2 is 87. We then can take that information, and we're going to plug it in for this p value to solve for w. And we can pick any of the original equations, but I'm choosing this. p is 87 minus w. I subtract an 87 to both sides, follow my standard rules here, and 58 minus 87 is a negative nine, uh, 29 of a negative w. Well, divide both sides by a negative 1, cancels out. w, speed of the wind, is a positive 29, and that is miles per hour. So we have a final answer of the speed of the plane in still air, 87 miles per hour, and the speed of the wind is 29 miles per hour. Hope this video was helpful, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com